guys. So I use uh, filleted herring when I'm in Puget Sound fishing for coho uh, and even blackmouth. And I've had a lot of inquiries as to how I fillet herring uh, and what I do to brine it, if you will. So let's jump into the kitchen and let's get some herring filleted. Uh, it's pretty simple uh, and I'll walk you through it. Okay guys, so I have my containers that I'm going to put my ice cream salt in. I've got ice cream salt. I've got green label herring, um, small knife for filleting, then of course a cutting board. I've also got some paper towel. Uh, what I like to do is use some paper towel and line the bottom of my bait containers. Um, as the ice cream salt sits in there, uh, it starts to uh, evaporate water and water will build up on the bottom. So this just makes it easy to soak up the water. And then also um, when I change out the ice cream salt, it just makes cleanup really easy. Okay, so I like to get a base layer of ice cream salt in the container. Okay, just enough ice cream salt on the bottom so there's a layer. Uh, you don't need it very thick because we're going to start putting our herring in there once we fillet it. I suggest that when you're filleting herring, let it thaw for a little bit, but don't let it thaw completely. It just makes filleting the herring a lot easier. So just like you would on a fish, just behind the head, you want to come straight down and just fillet off a piece of meat, just like that. Cut down inside, don't go all the way through. Turn your knife and follow the spine. Flip it over, do the same thing. Just follow that spine. Okay, so once you have all your fillets, uh, if you go crabbing, you might want to save all your carcasses and use those for crab bait. If you don't have another use for the carcasses, I strongly suggest uh, putting them in a Ziploc bag anyway before you put them in the garbage. Otherwise, you might have a lot of uh, cats and raccoons and stuff going through your garbage. Okay, now that we have we have all of our fillets done, now we want to come in here and we want to make sure that we're cleaning them up. 
and so some pieces may have uh, a little bit of stomach content in it. If it does, you just use your, your hand to pull that off. This one has a little bit of stomach content, just pull that off. Now what I do, you guys, you can cure these the way they are, and then you can cut them later, but I cut them now. And so what I'm looking for is I want to pin it, okay? So I'll just come up here, I'll take a little bit of that belly off, and I'll cut a pin it, okay? Now, I'll fish this for certain species of fish just like this. I'll just hook it right on there, or I sometimes will split it down the middle if I just need a herring strip as uh, an attractant. Once we have our first layer of herring pennants down, we're now going to add some ice cream salt. And you just need to cover up the herring. So it's covered up just like that. That's all you need. Now we're going to put another layer of herring on top of that ice cream salt. Okay, so once you have your container full of your herring and you've got your ice cream salt over the top of it, uh, just get your lid put on it and put it in the fridge. Uh, this herring, I think this ice cream salt, it brines it really well. The herring is very oily. It still has a really good herring smell. Um, and if you want the extra trimmings that you had, um, you can cure those as well and use those for other types of fishing or go ahead and add that to your uh, crab bait bag and freeze that until you're going to use it. Alright guys, so as you can see, filleting herring is easy. Um, again, applications vary. I know that I'm going to get the question, can I use uh, pickling salt, canning and pickling salt? Uh, you can. I think that the canning... Uh, and pickling salt makes uh, it more of a soupy type of brine. Uh, I don't prefer it. I really like the ice cream salt. I think it holds together real well. Uh, you know, when you grab your herring out of the ice cream salt, it's really easy to um, get all of the salt off your herring because they're in big chunks. So it works for me. That's my method. If you've got some other methods out there that work for you, good. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon, and you'll get notifications when we have new videos coming out. Until next time, thanks for watching.